happy Monday. We're eating dessert for breakfast pretty much this morning and I'm not mad about it. Honestly, kind of a slay. What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, my name is Hannah. If you're not new, welcome back. I can't tell if the camera's blurry or what is going on here. Hopefully that is a little bit better. It's also kind of dark. It is what it is. It's raining outside, so the apartment's dark. So it's a moody start to the vlog. Can't really change it. I made Nutella pancakes. It was not my first choice. I was gonna do pancakes with syrup and then like some fruit on the side, but we're out of syrup. So I was like, you know what? Dessert for breakfast. So we're eating pancakes with Nutella and bananas on top. And I'm actually so excited to dig in because it looks and smells so good. So this is how we're kicking off our Monday. It is a work week and it's a work week leading up to 4th of July weekend. So we actually leave on Friday to go spend 4th of July weekend with family. A full work week, I'm working Monday through Friday. I don't have a summer Friday off, but by the time Friday rolls around, I'm pretty much gonna be mentally checked out and ready to just like spend the weekend with family and friends. And I'm very, very excited for it. You'll have to stay tuned for the next vlog to find out where we're going because, I don't know, just a fun little secret. Stay tuned for the reveal. But yeah, it'll be a busy work week so that I can make sure that I go into the weekend, like everything off my plate, everything is good. I do have to work Monday, which is random because 4th of July is on a Tuesday next week. So I'm gonna have Saturday, Sunday off, work Monday, off Tuesday, drive back and work Wednesday. So next week is definitely gonna be like a really odd work week but I just want to prep myself this week to make sure that next week doesn't feel as chaotic as it sounds. So that's where we're at. Happy Monday. Welcome back to the channel. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe down below. I live in Jersey City, which is right outside of New York City. I make a lot of lifestyle content, travel vlogs, fashion hauls, you name it. I probably do it on this channel. So make sure you stick around for all the fun videos to come. And hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Okay, we have a semi-new work from home setup, and I actually love the way that my desk looks right now. I think it looks really cute and very productive. Maybe that's not the best way to describe it. It makes me feel like I could be productive at this desk. So John kindly donated his extra monitor to me. He got a new monitor for his desk. So I have his old one now, which is so nice because I can extend my laptop screen to the top. And then I just put my iPad, my Kindle over here, Stanley Cup. I lit a little candle because wanted all the good vibes in here. We have the mouse with the, what is this? An ergonomic mouse pad for your wrist. And then the chair and the desk are the same, but I just think that it looks so good. And I love the way that it turned out. apologize for not picking up the vlog and I need to stop doing that because week in my life if I vlogged every single moment of a week in my life you guys would have like two hours of content which I'm not saying is a bad thing if you want two hours of content I can give you two hours of content but it'd get repetitive really fast so I didn't vlog that much last night first of all it's a really busy day at work which is why I didn't vlog a lot because I was in back-to-back -back meetings and then sending emails. And then by the time work was over, I just get in this mind space after work where I immediately want to jump into my evening routine, which consists of getting ready for the gym, going to the gym for like an hour, an hour and a half, doing that, coming back upstairs, immediately making dinner or eating dinner, depending on who's cooking, and then taking a shower, settling down for the night, and like watching a TV show or reading or something of that sort. So <laughs> once I get in my nighttime mind space, it's so hard for me to like think about doing anything else because I love my nighttime routine. It just brings me joy and makes me feel good. So I always forget to vlog when I'm in that headspace. So that's what you guys missed last night is that I went to the gym. I ate dinner, made dinner, ate dinner, and then I watched Love Island. First of all, I caught up on Station 19 and Grey's Anatomy. I cannot believe that they are still making new episodes for both of those shows, but I am a diehard Grey's girl. I will watch every single episode that Grey's puts out, whether it is bad or good. And it's no longer that great now that Meredith is gone, but I'm gonna continue to watch it until they say that the show's over. And then Station 19, I just love. They could make so many new episodes of that and have a whole cast of new characters, and I would still watch it because I just love the whole premise of Station 19. It's like my favorite show. 
And then I watched Love Island or like watched two episodes of Love Island, went to bed, and now we're here. So good morning, you guys. Happy Tuesday. It's another work day, obviously. It's not as busy as it was yesterday, which I'm really grateful for. I do have a few meetings scattered throughout the day, but I'm not in back-to-back -back meetings like I was yesterday and i got a lot of stuff done yesterday like admin work so today is a little bit chiller which i'm very appreciative of but i wanted to sit down this morning and chat with you guys it is officially the end of june well june 30th is on friday but today is june 27th and i wanted to do my june reading wrap up because I love sharing the books that I read with you guys in the month of June and like the months past and I've started incorporating these in the vlog and I just really need to chat about the last book that I read because <laughs> it was just a wild journey for me and I'm gonna do a little spoiler alert for that review because I'll like give my honest review without spoilers and then I'm gonna say spoiler alert and then wait five seconds and then if you haven't read the book you can click out but if you have we can have a little chat because I need to vent about this book because it was a wild journey for me. If Goodreads would load, that would be awesome. Until then, we're taking a coffee break. Okay, let's start with the first book that we read in the month of June. This was Kingdom of Ash. You already know it got five stars from me. This is the last book in the Throne of Glass series. This book actually made me want to go back and reread both Akatar and Throne of Glass and annotate all of the books because it just now holds like such a special place in my heart and on my favorite books of all time list. It was so good. It was the longest book that I've ever read. I cannot picture myself reading a book that long ever, 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 ever again. It was like 970 pages, almost a thousand pages. And it took me like a week, two weeks to get through. And I actually had tried to start this book a few months ago and then gave up because it was so long and then dove back into it at the beginning of this month and I actually got through it this time and I'm glad I did because obviously it was a five star read and it was like perfectly wrapped up the entire series because Sarah J Maas isn't making any more books for the Throne of Glass series. She is for Akatar but not Throne of Glass so this series is 100% complete and it just feels like a good end to that little world that she created. Next book I read was Meet Me at the Lake by Carly Fortune. This book has so much hate surrounding it, mainly on TikTok, but also like Goodreads and BookTube. And I don't understand the hate that it's getting personally. I gave it three out of five stars. Was it as good as her first book, which was Every Summer After? No, it was not as good as her first book, Every Summer After. Was it a cutesy, quick summer read? Yes. I think that my only complaint is that the second half of the book felt super rushed and the quality of her writing progressively kind of went downhill as it continued to get a little bit rushed. Like the first book started off slow and her writing was the same as every summer after and then once the second half of the book hit, you were just like, whoa, how did we get there? There could have been a little bit more lead up to this. And it was just, I don't know, something was like missing from it. So it got three out of five stars for me. Next book is The Mistake, which is the second book in the Off Campus series. I gave this book three out of five stars. I liked the first book better. I gave the first book 3.5 out of five stars. I said that the first few chapters felt rushed. I feel like I needed a little bit more build up to Grace and Logan's relationship, but I did love the second half of the book. So like the first half of the book, you were just like, whoa. If you read the books, you know what I'm talking about, but you were like, whoa that moved really fast and then the second half was like okay now i get it i wish that the second half or i wish the first half had been kind of like the second half as far as like slow moving and build up and like more about their relationship goes so that's where i stand with that one and then i read the third off-campus series book and i actually gave this book five stars which is surprising because i feel like with these types of books with like romance books or sports romance books i read them and they're just like a feel-good book and i never expect to give them five stars because some, a lot of the times the writing isn't that great but it's just something to lightheartedly read and i loved this book dean and ali are definitely my favorite off-campus couple a thousand percent i just love them i loved the storyline i felt like the writing in this book was so different from her first two books like the author for the third book you could 100 percent convince me that it was a different author from the first and second book the writing just 
improved so much. I don't know if there was like a period of time between the second and third book and she did some work or something, but the third book was just so good compared to the first and second book in my opinion. And I could reread that book over and over and over again. I was like a comfort couple book. It was just so good. So I gave it five stars. The next book that I read was Ward D by Frida McFadden. This is her new book. This is also a Kindle Unlimited book for those of you guys that have Kindle Unlimited. All of her books are Kindle Unlimited, I'm pretty sure. She's like a Kindle Unlimited author, if you can say that, I guess. I did like it. I read it in one sitting, literally in like four hours one night because I felt like binging a book and it was really good. I did predict a lot of the plot twists. I would say that if you're a regular psych thriller reader, you would probably be able to guess a lot of the plot twists because I did, but overall it was like a very fast read, super easy read definitely still shocked me at some points and she just has like a way of not building up a world but like she just has a way of writing where you can picture every single thing that's happening and it makes you want to continue to read even if you think you know the plot twist like it wasn't like i predicted the plot twist and was like okay i don't need to read this book anymore it's boring it was still so interesting and kept me on my toes and that's why i really love her as a writer like even if i can predict a lot of her plot twists it she still makes me want to go back for more and i love a lot of her other books as well so would highly recommend frida mcfadden if you've never read her books because one she's on kindle unlimited two she's just such a good psych thriller author and then the last book that i read this month up until now which is what i finished yesterday which is the book that we need to chat about is the house across the lake by riley sager what to say about this book in a non-spoiler sense first of all i gave it two stars second of all i'm confused as to how many people gave this book five stars because the reason i picked up this book in the first place i had actually bought this book like months ago and it's just been sitting on my kindle so i decided to get around to it this month and i bought it because so many people were like this is such a good thriller i love a good mystery book riley sager is such a good author and i'm not saying that he she i don't know if riley is a girl or a boy is a bad author i'm just saying that maybe her and i don't vibe i don't know if we vibe together as a reader author duo so i gave it two out of five stars i just thought the storyline was very slow i didn't like the storyline there were a lot of things that i just like didn't agree with in the book i also wanted to dnf it multiple times because i didn't get where it was going you literally don't understand where the book is going until about 70% of the way into the book and then it just takes the most bizarre turn that I've ever read in a book and see this is where we're going to go to the spoiler section because I need to rant about this book so if you've read this book you can continue watching if you have not read this book this is going to be a spoiler so click on this video pause fast forward until a certain timestamp I'll put it down here and then once you read it, go back and watch this video and we can chat. Okay, I'm gonna give you five seconds. All right, if you're not clicked off, then you're gonna get spoilers. Why did this turn into a paranormal activity book? Where did that even come from? Not me sitting in bed reading this, having a great time, not a great time. I said I wanna DNF this book, but having an okay time. I'm reading it, the plot twist is ramping up. I'm like, great, this is where the book is gonna get good. I'm gonna wanna just binge read this all night and finish it. Tell me why it scared the crap out of me. Tell me why she goes into the basement and the bed is in the creepy corner and tell me why her ex-husband is speaking through a woman's body because the woman is now possessed. Why was that the plot twist? I have a lot of beef with Riley Sager because of that plot twist. I don't know if that is their typical plot twist. I don't know if they write a lot of paranormal activity books and I missed the memo on that, but I am not a spooky book girl. I don't want to read about the paranormal activity. I don't want to watch paranormal activity. I don't want any part of that. And I especially don't want it at 11 p.m. at night because then I had such a hard time sleeping throughout the night because I just like was afraid I was going to wake up and something was going to be staring at me. So I hated that twist. And, and then it just progressively got worse from there. Every twist after that got worse from there. It was weird. It was bizarre. It was weird. I hated every second of it. That is why I got two out of five stars from me. I would not recommend this book to people unless they like spooky, paranormal. It also just got two out of five stars because obviously it was slow, but like the plot twist really did it for me. That really made me not like this book. Now we're done ranting. Review is over. Spoiler is over. Welcome back. That wraps up all the books that I read in June. 
because it is the end of June. Actually, we have three days left and I technically could finish another book in three days, but I highly doubt that I will. That's my June reading wrap up. I hope you guys enjoyed. Only one Kindle Unlimited book this month, which was Ward D, so the others you have to buy off Kindle or rent from Libby or something like that. But I feel like I read some really good books this month. Two five stars. That's unheard of. I never really give books five stars anymore unless they fully deserve it. And we had two five stars this month, which is actually good. But also a lot of meh books. So I feel like we had a good combo of great and a good combo of meh. I just spent my lunch break cleaning out my closet a little bit. I pulled out all the dresses that I got last year and the years before. I kept the ones that I bought this year in my closet because I knew I wanted to keep those, but I tried on every single dress that I own from years past just to see, one, if they still fit, two, if I still liked them, just to kind of like refresh my closet because I was looking online this morning at dresses from like other stores and I think that I want to buy a few new ones for like trips coming up and just for the summer, but I wanted to clean out this section before I did that because a lot of the times I'll like forget that I own specific dresses or can make dresses work for like the vision that I'm going for or just need to clean out the space before I add new pieces in. So I got rid of a few, I'm selling some on Poshmark, I'm donating others. And then others, I just discovered that like, I forgot I owned like this one. And I think I can make it work for a trip that I have coming up. This I forgot that I owned, you know. It's always a good idea to go through your closet before you buy new things, just to see what you have. So this is the stuff that I'm selling on Poshmark. This is the stuff that I'm donating. And hopefully we can get rid of this stuff from here this week. This pile has been sitting here for a couple weeks now. I just need to make time to run into the donation bin. And then this is the stuff that I just cleaned out today. So we have two piles going for donations and Poshmark stuff. All right, it's after work, it's around five o'clock. And I just went for a little walk outside because the sun decided to make an appearance today, like very randomly. I think it is supposed to rain a little bit later today. I could see dark clouds over the city, but in Jersey, it's sunny out. So I went for a little 30 minute walk because I was feeling very antsy. And now I'm getting ready to head to Pilates. I'm doing Club Pilates today. I booked it so far in advance to secure a spot for this week and next week and the week after. You get the point. I'm doing Pilates at 5.30, getting ready to head over in like 10 minutes. And then we'll come back, make dinner and do my little night routine. I'm gonna get better about filming my nights because I always forget to because like I said I just get in my night routine mindset and then forget about everything else so coming along with first up Pilates next up we'll be coming back here and making some sort of dinner not sure what yet because we have three blue apron recipes to choose from so we'll see what I'm craving when we get back just got back from Pilates and I need a shower Pilates was so good. I booked the cardio sculpt class, which has the jump board, which is basically exactly what it sounds like. At the end of the reformer, there's this board that you literally jump off of for like half the class. And my legs are so sore because of it. They were already sore because I did leg day yesterday at the gym. And so now they are double sore, but you know, pain is worth it sometimes. I don't know where I was going with that. Pilates was good, I'm gonna take a shower. John's making dinner. He's making a little faro bowl. I'll show you guys the bowl once it's all finished. But right now, I need to shower because I smell bad. Oh, I wanna give you guys an update on this body wash because I did a haul with it a few weeks ago and I said that I wanted to try it out before I, this light is making me angry. That was driving me nuts. I wanted to, test it out before I give you guys a review and I like it a lot. I think that it really works. I don't know if I love the smell of it. This is the coconut and vanilla. For me, when I use soaps, I just like a very clean scent, almost like a laundry scent. Do you guys know what I mean? Like a clean scent and I feel like this one smells very coconut and vanilla-y, like a candle or a perfume or something. It smells exactly like the deodorant if you guys have ever used the native deodorant. So I like the overall body wash. I might try a different scent next time, but for something that's made with super clean ingredients, it actually really works and I like it. Not the cheapest body wash, but if you're looking to switch to a body wash that isn't as harmful as like Dove or something, I would recommend this one because I really like it. You ready for this ASMR? Ready? You ruined my ASMR. <laughs> 
I honestly didn't even The do pepper, it. salt, and pepper ASMR. <laughs> no, this ASMR. Ready? This is what's being chefed up in the kitchen. A faro bowl or whatever the heck it's called. Thanks, chef. <laughs> already Wednesday I feel like yesterday was just Monday and today should be Tuesday I don't know why my week is kind of thrown off like that but I can't believe it's already halfway through the week and I'm not mad about it because that means we're closer to Friday which means I'm closer to 4th of July vacation and I also can't believe that 4th of July is like already here because like I mentioned before it does not feel like summer although today is sunny outside I did hear though that we're gonna start getting smoke again from the Canadian wildfires and I'm really not looking forward to that because that was terrifying last time and also because I'm going more upstate I feel like we'd get more smoke and it's just gonna put a damper on the vacay if there's smoke like where I'm going you know so I hope that's not true it probably is because it was in the news but I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed that it like bypasses us because I don't want to deal with that again I just wanted to pick up the camera say happy Wednesday today is probably one of my least busy days this week which I'm grateful for I have I had one meeting earlier, I have a meeting in seven minutes, and then I'm kind of done with meetings at like two o'clock today, and then I just have to send out emails and things like that after. So today's a lighter day, which is great because yesterday and the day before were kind of heavier meeting-wise and like work-wise. So grateful for any day where I can kind of get some like downtime, you know? So that's kind of what work is looking like today. I don't have a workout class or anything like that booked. Let's see what the Alive app has for me doing today. Today's gonna be an upper body day. Recording to the Alive app, which I actually really like upper body. I don't like doing legs because legs always hurt my knees and like my ankles and I just grew up playing sports with a lot of ankle injuries and like knee injuries and stuff. So I always dread leg day even though I know that it's so good for me and will help with not only strength but like cellulite and everything that comes with leg day, but I really do dread doing it. I like upper body day a little bit more because I'm trying to tone and strengthen my arms. So work, gym, and I don't know what else we're going to get up to, but I'll take you guys along with. It's after work now. It's 5.11 and I'm going to skip the weightlifting workout for today. I was supposed to do arms and I'm just not feeling like it. So I think I'm going to go for a little walk instead. It's supposed to pour outside, so I'm kind of hoping the weather just holds up. Right now the sky is blue in Jersey, but I know it was raining in New York. So I think I could get a quick 30 minute walk in before the rain pours. If not, I'm going to be stuck in the pouring down rain. So that could be fun. And then I'll come back here and make dinner. And I want to read a little bit tonight. I didn't read yesterday because the book that I read two days ago the one that I gave two stars to that I gave it my review about. That definitely put me in a reading slump. Not a good book whatsoever, but I just started the fourth book in the off-campus series and I like it so far. I'm only like 40 pages in, but I want to do a deep dive into it tonight because I know that once I read a little bit more, I'm going to be hooked and then we'll probably be out of my reading slump, so stay tuned for that. Just got back from my walk. It was really good. I went for like a 
40 minute walk I would say. It didn't rain on me but it is super muggy outside and there are these gnats that like kept flying into me and then sticking to my skin which really irritated me so now I feel like I need to immediately jump in the shower because I just feel like sticky and gross. But before I jump in the shower, I got an Amazon package in the mail that I want to unbox with you guys because I think it's actually really cute for summer. Pending that I like it once I have this package. Oh yeah, this is exactly what I was looking for. I wanted a little straw crochet bag for the summer. You guys know that I love my Brooklyn bag. It was free with the Brooklyn set and I got it years ago and I always always use it for like every single outing in the city but i wanted something a little bit more dressy for the summer that i can take out in the city that and like the beach trips that i'm going on and the weekend trips that i'm going on i just feel like this is a little bit nicer than the brooklyn in one all right maybe you can now get the full effect so this is about the size of it if you guys can tell and the inside of it it has one little pocket and then it also has a zipper so you can zip it up so that nothing falls out of your bag or like nothing can get stolen from your bag while you're walking around but i really feel like it's the perfect size and this is what exactly what i was looking for i went into mango the other day and saw bags like this but they weren't quite exactly what i wanted and this this is perfect this is gonna be the perfect city bag perfect beach bag and it was fairly affordable i think it was like 30 bucks on amazon so i can have it linked down below i'm very excited for this obviously i don't know how well the quality is gonna hold up so far i'm a fan i will have it linked down below in case you guys are looking for a really cute beach or tote bag for the summer with that being said i think i'm gonna go ahead and end off this vlog i need to jump in the shower and then clean up the kitchen because it is a mess and the air fryer was left out and it's driving me nuts. So I'm gonna go take a shower, come back in here, clean up the kitchen, make dinner, and then just chill for the rest of the night. But I wanted to end off this vlog before I did all that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you are new around here and you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I will see you guys next time.